Hey guys, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers for my new channel, Theories Tales. I love that you guys are enjoying it. Please help me reach 10,000 before the end of the year. We would be honored if you would join us. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another theory, Star Wars theory, talk, debate, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call this little series here. But just me and you talking about Star Wars. And I today want to talk about how the Jedi actually failed. I don't think that they were all that efficient with their ways, and I do think they were quite dogmatic. But we're going to talk about it here in this video. So when it comes to the Jedi, they're extremely self-righteous. They have their laws and their views, and this is one of the things that kept them around for such a long time because they were very rigid. But at the same time, it caused a lot of infighting, it caused their own blindness to the Sith, and for that reason alone, that's why I think they failed. Not to mention, they failed the most powerful Jedi of all time, which is Anakin Skywalker. And literally, if they only took a little more care of him, they wouldn't have had everything wrong happen to them with Order 66. They wouldn't have been wiped out. So, the Jedi, in my opinion, started out kind of in the old Republic and all that, I think they started out really wholesome. You know, they weren't so rigid, they weren't so dogmatic. They had a bit of a larger view of the Force like Palpatine mentioned to Anakin. Now, if we jump after the original trilogy, in Legends, Luke Skywalker, I think, had the best fundamental premise and idea and rules for his Jedi Order. It wasn't to be afraid of attachments, but it was rather to encourage them. But be in control of your emotions. To use the Force how you see fit, but be in control of what you use it for. And I think that is the most Jedi way of actually using the Force, because the way the Jedi of the prequel trilogy used the Force, in my opinion, is they kind of were afraid of tapping into different aspects. Oh, you can't use any levels of emotion when you're using the Force. You can't be angry at all. You can't have any sort of remorse or attachment or anything like that. But if we look throughout all of the history of the prequel trilogy, it was these moments and these emotions that actually helped win major battles and major wars. For example, here's one. Obi-Wan Kenobi, when he saw Qui-Gon Jinn die at the hands of Darth Maul. You cannot tell me in that moment, when you're looking at that scene and they're fighting, there is not focus, anger, fury, fear in Obi-Wan's face and eyes. 100% there is, especially compared to before when they were fighting with Qui-Gon Jinn. Now, for me, I truly feel that when the Jedi were using emotions, like when Anakin used emotion to fight Dooku, that's when he beat him, right? When, when the Jedi use a little bit of emotion is when they're literally the most powerful and strong that they have ever been. Versus the Sith, who are so engulfed in the dark side, they're so far one way, versus the pure Jedi who never use emotion, and they're so far the other way, that both are bad. I think having a balance is very important. I think this is one reason why Mace Windu was so powerful. Now, when it came to their ideals, they eventually became very, very superstitious and became very polluted with politics. This, in turn, is what caused two of the greatest Jedi of all time, and I don't mean for their abilities, but for their mindset, Qui-Gon Jinn and Count Dooku to leave the Jedi Order. Qui-Gon Jinn was a master. However, he was not permitted on the Jedi Council because he did not follow the rules. He followed the will of the Force, and this is the actual true way of the Jedi. To follow the Force, not bend it to your will, which is what the Jedi were doing. Right? They were using politics, and they were becoming pawns in the war, and they were bending the Force to their will. They weren't flowing with it. And that was a major problem. Dooku, on the other hand, left the Jedi Order because he saw what they were becoming. They were becoming too entranced with politics. And he was saying, this is not what I signed up for. This is not the Force. Ahsoka, on the other hand, she wanted to be a Jedi, but she didn't sign up to be thrust into this war right away. It was all not the Jedi way, in my opinion, yet they were preaching it like it was. They were extremely clouded by the Force, and I feel this is primarily due to the presence of the dark side. Now, if you want to go into Legends, you can say, okay, yo, there was a Sith temple underneath the Jedi temple, and this was clouding their judgment. But I truly feel that Palpatine was so powerful with the Force, he created a dark aura just by existing near them and clouded all of their judgments, where they couldn't figure out, they couldn't see anything, they couldn't sense anything. Also, Palpatine is he's a G. He's Palpatine. So, with the Jedi, I think that their major flaw was that they were too actually closed off to the Force in the name of the Force. They were too closed off to don't have attachments, don't have fear of loss, don't have anger, Close yourself off from certain abilities. 
I mean, there was one instance in a Star Wars game where Plo Koon used Force Lightning called Force Judgment, and this is like his version of Force Lightning. He was tried by the council. They actually had a meeting with him, and they were like, you can't be doing this. This is not okay. And they tested him and made sure that he had no anger when he was using Force Lightning, and he passed the test. And they were like, okay, you can use it in very rare circumstances, but it's like, you have all of this power and all of this ability to end massive wars, massive problems in the galaxy, yet you're not using it because it's not the Jedi way. Well, I think the Jedi way is exactly how Luke saw it, which is to use the Force as you see fit, but use it for good. So not to run away from certain emotions and things like that, such as anger or perhaps any emotion in general, passion, because it does fuel you, it does make you stronger, but to use it how you see fit to an extent, of course, to an extent, and to make sure you use it for good, right? To have that self-control. And this is what Luke believed in, and that's why I was so excited to see him in The Last Jedi, because he had this such a different understanding of the Force than the typical prequel trilogy Jedi. And this is also why when I was watching The Last Jedi, I was excited at that one moment when he was in the temple, and he was talking about how they were so dogmatic. And I was like, okay, cool, are we now like going to be getting to actual Legends Luke? But no, we didn't. It's completely the other way. Completely the other way. I think I say that in every video. So, I truly think that the Jedi could have avoided all of their problems if they simply just opened themselves up to the Force a little bit more. They weren't so entranced with politics and becoming a pawn in their hands. And if they actually listened a little more to Qui-Gon Jinn and Count Dooku, to be honest. I say more so Qui-Gon Jinn. But no wonder Dooku left. No wonder Qui-Gon didn't care for being on the Jedi Council. Because he was like, they're a bunch of boneheads anyways. All they do is just preach a whole bunch of crap. They follow what they think is the Force, which really isn't. They're really actually bending the Force to their will. Whereas I'm following the will of the Force. And so was Dooku, to be honest, to an extent, too. He was following the will of the Force. He saw that the Jedi were not following that same path that he set out to follow. That they had changed, their ideals had changed. And Jedi were dying in these wars, and he was just not for it anymore. So for him... He had to go elsewhere. He had to go examine and explore another aspect of the Force, and that's why when Sidious revealed himself as the Sith Lord, Dooku was like, well, maybe I've been having it wrong this whole time. Maybe the Jedi are actually not just holding me back from true abilities, but they've become so corrupt that I'm now going to try and check out this other aspect of the Force. And it opened him up to a whole new world of abilities and powers. And so he, in his mind, was then using the Force for good. Right? He didn't think he was evil. He thought the Jedi were evil. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. And he was actually using the Force for what he thought was good. Now, Palpatine, on the other hand, I don't know if he thinks he's good. I don't think he really cares, to be honest. I think he just does what he wants, when he wants, how he wants. But I think if the Jedi were actually more grounded in the Force itself and didn't use it for their gain, but rather trusted in the Force and flowed with it, then I think they would have been much more successful in seeing the plot to destroy the Jedi, and they also would have seen the malevolence behind the clone army, right? They were so clouded they couldn't even figure anything out. Everything was just kind of a haze to them. So for that reason, I think that the Jedi failed. The prequel trilogy Jedi, the Republic Jedi. So going forwards, I hope we will eventually see Luke Skywalker's Jedi Order in uh, Dave Filoni's movie. And it's gonna be, you know, a fall from grace for sure when we get to The Last Jedi because he's completely different. But I really hope that we at least get to see, you know, a portion of what he was like during his prime time, which was supposed to be a sequel trilogy, but wasn't. That would be nice. Now, as for going before in the Acolyte and things like that, the High Republic, I wonder if those Jedi are really like the pure Jedi. From what I read from the book, when I did read a little bit of it, they seemed to be almost more Jedi-ish than the prequel trilogy Jedi, who were so dogmatic and so rigid. And I think that caused a lot of problems with Anakin. So that's my thoughts on the Jedi and why they failed. We can go into more detail in maybe a part two, or if you have a rebuttal or response video, make sure to make one, tag me in it, throw it on Instagram or whatever it might be. I'd love to do a response video as well and kind of engage with the community like that and go back and forth. So yeah, let me know what you think about the Jedi. Were they corrupt? Were they corrupted? Were, did they lose their way? Or were they right on track where they needed to be? But somehow they ended up losing and failing everything. Thanks so much for watching today's fun video. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend and day. And may the force be with you always.